hey guys good afternoon welcome back to my channel it's your girl bridgie how you guys doing i hope you're doing well thanks a lot for joining me if you have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing hit on the bell sign so that you get notification a lot of people are saying that i'm not uploading video whenever i run into people they say oh but oh we thought you are still in nigeria you're not uploading we are not seeing your videos i don't know what's happening youtube has been very funny i don't know what they are trying to do they are not sending people notifications so please make sure that your notification bell is on and that you are checking out for my videos. i am uploading consistently at least in a week i try to upload twice in a week sometimes three times so please make sure that you are checking even if you do not get notification because youtube has been playing they've been playing tricks they are trying to play tricks um but um god pass them <laughs> god pass them so today i want to share a story with you guys and it's about relationship which is something that i enjoy talking about immensely if you know me right this sister sent me this email a while ago she's a christian sister yeah the christian sister who lives in the abroad now we all know that when you call yourself a christian and you are really committed as a christian like you are you've given your life to christ not the lip uh, born again no that they would be doing the born again but be doing korewa on the side <laughs> no not that one i'm talking about people who are actually born again and they are living the life that they should be living as a christian so this sister is a born again christian what did you buy? You don't know. How much did you spend? <laughs> Esther, your salary will be gone this month if you spend 200 on shopping. Put them in bags. So, it's a, it's a sister that is fully devoted and, you know, to Christ. You know, abstaining, not doing any kurukere business and just totally worshipping God in truth and in spirit, which is what it should be. This is what the Bible tells us. Now, sister is looking for a husband in the church or any Christian brother. As you know, if you are a born again Christian and you are really, really serious about your faith, you don't want to marry an unbeliever. A lot of people who are really serious who don't want to marry an unbeliever because, you know, Two cannot work together except they agree. That's just the truth. So she was looking for, she said she was looking for a, a husband for years. The brothers in the church are going out to go and carry, to go and marry, marry uh, uh, women from other churches. And nobody is saying, okay, alpha, you know, year in, year out. <laughs> and this tends to happen a lot. I've attended Pentecostal church, church, church before. And I know this tends to happen. A lot of Pentecostal churches, the sisters in the churches, in the church, the brothers in that, in that church will go and marry from other churches. They don't tend to marry. Some of them do, but in some, in most cases, the brothers in the church, even the pastor, if the pastor is single, it's 99.9% .9 that if he's going to marry, he's not going to marry somebody from that church. He will go and marry somebody from another church and bring the person. All the sisters that are serving him, cooking for him, looking after him will be there. Like this one, he will be doing wedding. If that tends to happen, I know that anyway cut a long story short she said that she waited and she trust god completely 100 percent that god was going to bring her husband but as we all know we cannot say that god is a liar neither can we say that god does not answer prayers but um the ways of god are mysterious you never know you know god works in mysterious ways i don't know why it didn't happen but she didn't find someone no one came to propose to her no one came to date her and she said she was you know approaching 40 and in her family, they go into menopause very early. So she, she said she decided that she wanted to have a baby. That even if there's no husband, the least she wants to have a baby. She really wants to have a baby. She doesn't want to end up in life being that sad and sorry sister who trusted God and it seemed as if God failed. Even though she knows that God did not fail her, but she wants to have a child. She doesn't want to wait any for any further because after 40, she's afraid that she might get into menopause. So this sister said she decided that she wanted to have a baby. And she told a few of the elders in the church that she was close to that uh, this is the situation. Um, there's no brother coming forward to marry her. So she wants to get, get a baby that she, at least if husband no come, somebody should have, uh, if she have a child, you know, for her old age, so that she will not be alone. I mean, some women are okay not to have a husband and they are happy to live the rest of their life like that. But some women, even if there's no husband, they want to have a child. 
because you know this is important to them so she said they, they start having meetings upon meetings and you know deliberating about it whether it's something that the church is going to condone and all that you know some of these churches what they tend to do is that even if you want to get married you have to go and meet with them and you'll be doing uh they will, you have to bring the, the guy to go and introduce him to the pastor and the pastor's wife and they will do counseling which is it's not a bad thing counseling is not a bad thing really so the bottom line is that she was saying that the people the elder said no that she shouldn't go and do how did she want to have the baby i've forgotten to say that i'm just saying having baby having not the uh, natural con uh, conception way of uh of uh, jangolova or no it's not kerewa this one is um she wanted to do artificial insemination so she wanted to use science to have a baby that's how she wanted to have a baby to use science to have a baby and she said she she was convinced in her spirit that that's not a sin if she decides to have a baby through sign she's not committed you know fornication so she doesn't see any reason why she shouldn't do it this is what she feels convinced that she wants to do because she feels that you know 40 something menopause is going to start for her because her family women get into menopause very early so the church were you know saying that she shouldn't do it so she decided to go and do it she has the money she went to a fertility clinic, got uh, uh, told them what she was looking for, the kind of uh, uh, sperm that she was looking for. They gave it to her, and she went. The doctor arranged everything, and they, you know, I don't know how to do it. Maybe on the days that she's she's ovulating or something, they will insert the sperm. I don't know the procedure, but anyway, they did it, and she got pregnant. And she said she was very very happy when the results came out, and she found out she was pregnant. It's one of the happiest days of her life, and you know. The pregnancy was progressing but the church found out that she was pregnant once they found out that she was pregnant they had a meeting and said that you know that she's a bad example to other women in the church other young girls in the church and because of that they are going to excommunicate her that means auntie this church is not for you anymore so she was sent packing from the church and she she when she sent me that image she was asking me you know uh, this is what she did she doesn't feel any guilt about it because she feels that she did the right thing but is it a sin i mean i don't know if it's a sin to be honest i'm not a judge of of uh, morality i'm not god sometimes the ways of god are very mysterious you never know sometimes what you think is not a sin might be insane in the sight of god it depends on on the on, on your heart or you know the intention behind it and sometimes it's something that you think that is not a sin uh what you think is uh is, is not a sin can be a sin you never know with God. So I said, well, it's complicated because it's not every day that you see somebody going to have a baby using artificial means. We know about mm. uh, when uh, couples who are married or couples who are in relationship don't have children and decide to go and do uh, IVF and all that. But for a single woman who is not married to go and say, okay, I want, you know, artificial, um, I want to make a baby artificially. I want somebody's... Um, uh, thingy to make my baby it's not something that is so common you, especially with Africans it's not very common anyway but she did it she did it I'm sure she would have given birth by now if you are watching oh, that, uh, that our sister that uh, shared the story please let me know if you if you if you've given birth uh, if you've given birth let us know uh, if, that if you've given birth but what do you guys think the point is that why this story is intriguing is the role that the church played this is a personal decision and i'm sure that for a woman to sit down and say okay relationship has not come this is what i want to it's not an easy decision because trust me a lot of women who desire family who want to have the full family you want to have the husband before the kid but if the husband is not coming me personally what i used to tell my friends my girlfriends what i tell them is if you are, you are waiting you are dating 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 and it's not leading to marriage at a certain age you need to cut your losses and decide what you want to do if you want to have a baby then you might you, you might need to do that because what is always the problem with women is that at a certain age if you waited for too long and i'm not saying that god does not do miracles i'm not saying that you know there's an age that you get to that you will not have a child you can have a child at 50 you can have at 55 60 with the help of science and by the grace of god it's possible but for how many people does it happen for so me, I always advise my girlfriends in Nigeria that if you are dating and you are not finding somebody that is asking you to marry them, 
they are not asking you to marry them and you date a date and no work. At some point, maybe you have a child. Yes. Sometimes when you have a child, the marriage can follow. I know so many people that has happened to that once they had a baby, the father of the child decided to marry them. I mean, having a child I'm talking about is not uh, doing it the scientific way. I'm talking about, you know, having, having a baby for your boyfriend or somebody that you are dating. That's what I'm talking about. But uh, this one is a very, very strange one that I've really not encountered encounter this one before. And I don't know how people feel about it. So for you guys that, that are the Christians in the house that, you know, know the Bible in and out and what God, the mind of God is about relationship and marriage. Do you think that what this sister did is wrong or that is a sin before God? Was the church right to excommunicate her to say that she cannot come to the church anymore because she had a baby without getting uh, married? Because obviously, once you are excommunicated, you have to leave the church because the church does not belong to you. So you remember, you may have been in the church for 20 years, but this is the decision that has been taken by the church authority. And they decide to say, pack your load and go. What can you do? You have to. It's painful. I mean, if it's church that you've given a lot to and you've, you've been committed to. But at the end of the day, um, it's not good to have an emotional attachment to a church. It's a place of worship. And you can worship God anywhere. Even in your own house, you can worship God. And if you decide to go to church, you can change church. If this one does not work, this one will work. But still, church is a family whereby you build long-lasting friendship, relationships, and all that. But, I mean, what do you guys think? Why is it that brothers don't marry the sisters in their church? Why? First of all, let me ask you, brothers. That, and again, if sisters are committed that they are living a holy life, sancti sanctified life, no uh business they are not fornicating and they are doing up 100 percent abstinence and husband still does not come at a very ripe age when you know the eggs are are, are beginning to to reduce then what should what should she have done should have just trusted god and just hope that one day that um maybe the husband will come or was she right anyway at the end of the day i feel like it's her decision to make this is my own personal um my own personal opinion about the matter is that it's her life so these are all the issues though there are so many people who you know may fall into this category of thinking that okay i want to have a baby and having a baby will make me happy or at least just having someone or that if i wait too long i might not be able to have a baby again at a later age even though i, I find a man what do you guys think i'd like to hear your thoughts on this matter thanks a lot for watching please subscribe and tell your friends and your friends to tell the friend to share this video a lot of people still think i'm stuck in nigeria and i am not back i have been back to the uk since february please people think i'm not uploading because youtube is not sending notification youtube is not alerting them when i post my video i don't know why but um yeah it is what it is and we keep being hopeful that um there will be a turnaround of things Thanks a lot, guys. I love you. Bye-bye.